Okay, this is Mass Effect 3 with Tatiana Shepard, a colonist ruthless. We just finished up Mass Effect 2, and now we are importing into Mass Effect 3. So let's go, let's, uh, let's go get her. Where is she? There she is. Now, Tatiana is this colonist ruthless. She was born on Mindwar, but her parents were killed in a, an attack by slavers when she was 16. She was rescued by the Alliance, and she, uh, she joined the Alliance, not out of patriotism or gratitude or whatever, but as a way to get back at the people that did that to her family, that killed her family. and. And to make sure it didn't happen to other people's families. And she is fairly ruthless in that she will do whatever it needs to be done to get the mission done. And this doesn't mean she's a jerk. But uh, if you stand in her way of getting the mission done, she, uh, she'll mow you down. Um, so here's a little bit of her history. She uh, killed the Rachni Queen. She didn't feel like... She felt like the Rachni had been a huge threat to the galaxy, and they'd been gone for well over a thousand years now, two thousand years almost, and so why revive this threat, uh, you know, they'd been gone for two thousand years, what's going to change if they, they, don't, they don't come back, well, nothing. So she had decided they were too big a threat and decided to kill them. She uh, ended up choosing to save Ashley on Vermeer. Uh, she had been kind of romancing Caden, but she decided it was more crucial to the mission to go get Ashley and the Salarians she was with than to go back and get Caden, since he'd already armed the bomb and a Salarian captain had told us that Nothing could stop it, basically, once it was armed. So that part of the mission seemed to be done with. And so she decided, well, in that case, let's go rescue the rest of the crew and leave Caden to his own devices. And so she left him behind. And more or less kind of the same decision with the council, where she felt the most important thing was to stop Sovereign and it's too bad the council died she would have preferred to save them but she felt it was most important to hold back everything to concentrate on Sovereign as far as Malin's genophage data his work on a cure she decided to save that because I mean data is valuable it doesn't make any sense to just destroy something because you know, it could be used to eventually cure the Krogan. You shouldn't particularly like the Krogan, <coughs> but uh, she didn't see the point in just taking data and destroying it. I mean, it didn't make any sense. Keep it secret. Don't let the Krogan know, but keep it. And she killed Ver uh, Rex on Vermeer. It says, had Rex die on Vermeer. Well, she killed Rex herself. She didn't, she didn't try to get Ashley to do it. She did it herself because Rex pulled a gun on her and was standing in the way of her getting her mission done. She also uh, decided to... Well, she picked up this uh, robot, this Geth, on this abandoned, this derelict Reaper, and she decided it'd be beneficial to wake the thing up and see if she couldn't pump it for any information. And one of the things it let her know about was that there was this group of Geth that he called heretics that had been attacking organics and had aligned himself with Sovereign, and he knew where they were. And he wanted to go blow her up, and she was like, blow them up, and she was like totally down with that idea. Let's go kill a bunch of Geth. And if this robot over here wants to help us, well, that's cool. And so she went to the base and she she blew it up and killed a whole bunch of, of robots. 
so that there would be less of a threat from them in the future. Uh, all through Mass Effect 2, she didn't do any Mass uh, Cerberus stuff in Mass Effect 1, didn't know anything about them. When she got to Mass Effect 2, what she found out is, well, Cerberus rebuilt her, brought her back from the dead. But not only that, Cerberus was trying to stop these abductions of colonies. And she's a colonist herself, and she was very sympathetic. She didn't want that to happen. It's why she joined the Alliance in the first place. And when she found out the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything about protecting these colonies, she decided to throw her lot in with Cerberus. She didn't have a problem with some of their more ruthless stuff. Uh, because that was right down her alley. And so she was a Cerberus partisan, and she, when the elusive man told her that, you know, this collector base could potentially have some very useful technology that they should study, she said, yeah, sure. I mean, she's all about maintaining, you know, gathering more data and knowledge. I mean, she's not just going to throw this stuff away. Unfortunately, on that mission to... Uh, stop the collector she lost well unfortunately for her i mean it wasn't unfortunate for me i planned out every one of those deaths <laughs> uh she lost three members of her crew she lost jacob who was taken off in a secret swarm and zaid whose shields failed while he was leading a, a second fire team and jack who died while uh the rest of her team held the door while she, Miranda, and Thane went off to go uh, finish off destroying the base. So three, three casualties, Zaid, Jacob, and Jack. And she has been a bachelorette through all of the previous two games, although she, didn't, she did express an interest in Caden. She ended up leaving him behind because she felt that best served the mission. She put mission ahead of personal preferences. So that's who Tatiana is. And now let's uh, get going with her. A little bit of her background there. So the most important thing you need to know about her is she is mission focused. She will do what it takes to get the mission done. And I I don't really need to change her much, but I did want to give her gray eyes. And I was thinking about giving her a haircut. I mean, this is a fine haircut. But I was thinking about giving her something more military. Yeah. We're going to give her a more military style haircut. <coughs> Alright. She was an adept in Mass Effect 2. In Mass Effect 1, she was a sentinel. But I decided to do uh, an adept in Mass Effect 2 because I enjoy the adept class in that title. But in Mass Effect 3. I don't know, I just, I'm not feeling the love for the Adept. Uh, particularly because Liara's Singularity is actually better than Shepard's. I mean, it's just, that's kind of discouraging. Her, Liara's Singularity will lift a Guardian, Shepard's won't. Guardian's Shield will block Shepard's Singularity, whereas Liara can lift them right up. And Liara's Singularity is instant hit versus Shepard has all this travel time. So, I don't know, I'm just not feeling the love the way I was in Mass Effect 2. I've done a soldier once on Insanity. I'm not that good, but I got the Venom shotgun and that thing is amazing. You just blow away groups of people. It's just a, an amazing weapon. If it weren't for that, I don't think I could have played a soldier at all, quite frankly, on Insanity. I'm not that good. I played an infiltrator before, meh, you know, whatever. Vanguard, I like it multiplayer. 
there's a lot of vanguards I liked. I liked the Krogan vanguard, the Batarian vanguard, the, the N7 Slayer. I liked my, the Asari vanguard. I mean, basically, I like a lot of the multiplayer vanguards, but in single player, I don't know, it's just too hyperactive for me. It's just you're constantly frantic, like searching for your next target to charge so you can renew your shields and I don't know, it's just a little bit too hyperactive. Engineer's fine class. I've played Engineer several times. Uh, the only problem I find with Engineer, however, is comboing with my uh, biotic teammates. Um, they have some good primers. They don't have much in the way of detonators. I mean, Liara's got warp which could detonate, but it's got a really slow cooldown. I'd rather use her Singularity as a primer while Shepard does the detonations. So, that was a problem for me with Engineer. I mean, it's fine. It's, fine. it's a good class. I enjoy playing it. But my favorite class is Sentinel. Because I, I have this, I feel like I have this flexibility where I can just pick anybody combo off of them with no problems no no worries about cooldown or anything like that and he's pretty bloody tough too and he's got that tech armor which gives you 50 percent damage reduction this, uh, this guy's a beast The other guys, I, I mean, I never even played Vanguard in Insanity. I, I was playing it on Hardcore, and I was getting pretty beat up. I didn't die, but my health bar would constantly get take at least a couple hits. A few times every minute. I mean, more than a couple hits. I mean, more than a few times. I mean, it's just... Versus the Sentinel, I mean, I'm, I'm good to go. And the powers the Sentinel halves are just wonderful. I don't feel like I need any of this other stuff in here. I mean, I don't really need any of this stuff here. So I end up usually going with Armor Piercing. There's a few missions where I might pick Dominate. Uh, but Armor Piercing ammo really works for me because it saves on a mod slot on my weapons. Um, I don't need to have a piercing mod on the weapon. I can use a power mod, power amp mod, or a stability mod, or whatever. I don't have to use up that slot for a piercing mod, so I like that. Alright, let's go. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. Hey, look, Earth is not backwards. <laughs> Unlike Mass Effect 1, where they made Earth backwards.
Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. It's the Reapers. And we're not ready for them. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the Defense Committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the Committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one. They blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us. What they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That way they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian Relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. And so does the Committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That and your good word. Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the Committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Why is she going into a courtroom? They're considering bail for her or what? <laughs> Shepard. Ashley? Lieutenant Commander? How'd it go in there? I can never tell with them. I'm just waiting for orders now. Lieutenant Commander. You hadn't heard? No. I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, ma'am. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. It's not like you learned the Reapers were coming and didn't tell me. True enough. Admiral. Come on. Shepard's fairly pissed off at Ashley for the way she treated her. You know the commander? I used to. For the way she treated her on Horizon. Now this has got to be the dumbest opening right here. I have to agree with these eyes. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then... How do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are, more powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But there must be some way. Each of us has to be willing to die to save humanity. Anything less, and they've already won. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? It couldn't be that close already. How'd they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. Shepard has basically proposed a Green Lantern plan. Want it bad enough when you'll get it. Man, that's loud.
I have to turn down the effects volume once I can get to a menu. Why haven't we heard from Admiral Hackett? What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight or we die. We should get to the Normandy. Is that you? What's your status? I can't raise the Normandy. You'll have to contact me. We'll meet you at the landing zone. Anderson up. Yeah, she looks all right. Headed to the Normandy. They'll pick us up if we can get to the space station. Let's move. Yeah, well, we'll move in a bit. Let's see. Um. Pop that down just a tad. good okay again I don't let my squad mates use their own powers and let's see oh I had this off when I was using my spirit armor but until we get that until we get that, I don't have to worry about it. All right. Let's make a save. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. All right. Get up to 5A. I, I mean, I've never really found radius to really mean much. In this, in Mass Effect 3, it's a 2, it's, it's amazing having a 3 meter radius. 2 meters has never seemed to me to be like anything to write home about. So, I'll just go that way, but I don't really care one way or the other. What this, this is what I really want right here, is increase the force and damage of biotic combos by 50%. And I'm going to want warp, but I'm not quite sure if I want that yet. And the main things I want here is power damage, 30% plus power damage. <laughs> and I want this. This is kind of a crowd control device for me. Definitely take the neural shock so that I can put husks and cannibals on their backs. And let's take a look at this. Some weight capacity. Some more weight capacity. And a little power damage. Eh, how are we doing? 
I'm gonna want warp eventually. And here, get a little bit of boost to the health and shields. I want to focus in on offensive mastery. And we're going to want this too. Um, but I don't need it yet. I think I'll wait on that. Six points. Yeah, I'll wait on warp for now because I'm not going to need it in this initial segment. Alright. Let's save. Oh. And turn that on. And turn that on. And Throw, throw, and then this is going to be right button. And warp will be left button eventually. Alright. Um, let's see. It's been about half an hour just of Shepard telling the defense committee survival at any cost. And then rightly being totally contemptuous. That's it. That's our plan. So I think we'll just end this here. And watch the Reapers destroy Vancouver. Uh, and we'll be back next time. Where we Shepard can make good on her escape from jail. Uh, finally. <laughs> Thank you Reapers for getting me out of prison. Really appreciate that. Uh, and then we'll get back on the Normandy and head off to Mars in the next episode. Until then, have a great time.